Hello Pisces! Happy birthday! This is your birthday time and I'm here to give you your February forecast which I'm very excited about. We are moving into the age of Aquarius and this month there are a lot of planets in Aquarius. And Aquarius is all about allowing yourself to be the unique individual that you are. Allowing yourself to dress differently, to speak differently, to move differently, to do things differently than everybody else does. We have a tendency to sometimes compare ourselves to others. This would not be the best month to do that. This would be the month to allow yourself to speak your truth, to speak what is important to you and not to worry about what everybody else is thinking. That's the idea of this month's planets. So let me break it down for you. On the 8th of the month we've got a new moon in the sign of Aquarius. It's happening for you in your 12th house. So new beginnings. This is a new beginning for you internally. It's joining the Sun in that 12th house. So internally there is an awakening happening inside of you. Inside of you, you know that there are changes happening and you'd like to see them externalize. I know many of you have been working, you've done a lot of personal growth, you've been doing all kinds of courses and yoga and meditations and all kinds of uh, health and complementary therapies and healing, all sorts of things many of you have been doing and you're wondering, hey, you know, when's all this going to manifest? Well, this is a new beginning still on the inside happening. Maybe you're going to have a dream at this time. Something happening that's just going to awaken light bulbs going off in your head. It's also allowing things from the depths of you to come out. So you might find yourself writing more. You might find yourself wanting to paint, to do something artistic, to listen to music, but to do things that really just take you outside of the everyday concrete consciousness around us um, and take you into that wonderful Piscean place that you love being in. Yes, that place that just is very liberating, is very freeing. This is certainly a month to consider freedom. The sense of personal freedom. What do you allow inside yourself? Do you allow yourself to do all the things that you really enjoy? Are you still rushing around trying to accomplish this, that and the other? Or are you allowing some more space in your life? This, this month is very much about allowing more space to breathe so that some new better things can come in for you, especially because it's your birthday time. Now, uh, a lot going on for the first couple of weeks of this month in your 11th house, uh, Pisces. The 11th house is all about networking, connecting, collaborating. Maybe you're connecting up with more people on the internet than you've ever connected up with before. Maybe there's certain social networks now and you're really beginning to find a tribe of people who you really connect with. This is a wonderful time for it, especially the first, as I said, couple of weeks of the month. Now Mercury and Venus are together this month, very close, making for wonderful opportunities for communication. We're out of the Mercury retrograde time, we're into a possibility of really um, just easy communications, easy friendships, easy socialising. Great time for socialising as well during this time. Great time for publishing something, getting information out there, sharing to a very wide community something that you feel passionate about. This is a wonderful time to do it. Maybe you make jewellery, maybe you want to, maybe you uh, arrange flowers, maybe you make cakes, maybe you do whatever it is that you do that's unique to you. It's time to shout it from the rooftops uh, during this month. Last two weeks of the month, well, uh, sorry, on the 14th of the month, we've got Mercury coming into this 12th house. On the 17th, Venus coming into this 12th house. So there is a big focus for you on the 12th house. Now for you as Pisceans, that's not really a struggle. For a lot of the other signs, it's a lot more difficult. But for Pisces, it really is asking you just to step back, relax, breathe, Find that peaceful space inside and revel in it. Enjoy it. Really enjoy that cup of tea, that cup of coffee. 
oh, really focus on it and really focus on the, the love and the goodness that it's doing to you. It's really about um, uh, just really experiencing life on a deeper level. That's what these planets are encouraging you to do in this 12th house. And of course, on the 20th of the month, hoop hoop hooray, we've got the sun coming into your sign. It's birthday time. It's time for you to put the focus on you. All too often, Pisces, you're focused on helping everybody else. No, this is time for you. It's an excitement. It's time to blow your own trumpet and to really look at the things that are wonderful and marvelous about you and to broadcast them just a little bit more. So very often, uh, Pisceans, you're a little bit uh, quiet, you're often quite introverted, unless of course you're the actors, because you can certainly put on a wonderful act. But for the most part, many of you are introverted, and it's still birthday time, so it is time to come out. You'll have plenty of time to be peaceful with the other planets in the 12th house and recharge your batteries. On the 22nd of the month, we've got a full moon happening in your seventh house of relationship, joining Jupiter there. So Jupiter and the moon in this seventh house, well, this could bring out a lot of emotions in your relationship, maybe something coming to fruition, maybe a marriage, uh, maybe a relationship really just blossoming. It could also mean a sense of a completion in a relationship, but likelihood is it's really egging you on, Pisces, to look for growth in a relationship. How can I grow? What can I learn from this relationship? How can I uh, improve it? How can we work together more? This is what uh, um, is really being called for from this uh, Jupiter Moon aspect in your seventh house of relationships. And it can certainly bring a new relationship into your life, a romance, a business relationship, or just any kind of a partnership could come into your life at this time. So there you have it. It's a wonderful month for you, dear Pisceans. Um, I wish you a wonderful birthday. I think it's going to be a great year for you. And um, thank you for subscribing to my newsletter. I bring out a newsletter every couple of weeks, um, giving you extra uh, astrological information. It's free. Um, also, I post things on Facebook. So please uh, friend me on Facebook and we, you can get more information. I'm posting there regularly. And um, thank you for sharing. I love hearing your comments and I love doing these videos. I hope you get that energy. I mean, I feel like it's my birthday when I'm really talking about Pisces birthday. I'm getting excited. I'm thinking about all kinds of presents and wonderful things. So have a wonderful month. Thank you for commenting. Bye for now.